so I'm a testic beast and I blew out every uh, fuse on my car. Do you guys have replacement fuses? Yeah. All right, so I was a dumbass. I had way too many devices plugged into all three cigarette lighters, completely bukkake them and my fuses broke. They completely blew and now none of the cigarette lighters work. So I'm here at AutoZone and I'm gonna try to figure out how to DIY it. I don't wanna bring it to the mechanic because uh, one, it's expensive. Two, I'll probably have to wait a lot longer. And three, this is a DIY channel. So let's take a look first and see if we can locate the blown fuses. And then we're gonna go and see if uh, they have the ones we need in AutoZone, which they probably will because it's pretty standard. All right, let's see what we're looking at here. The first thing you're probably gonna wanna do is consult the owner's manual for your specific car. Should be able to find it pretty easy by searching for your car's year, make, and model, followed by owner's manual and PDF. As you can see, this one has a whole DIY section with detailed instructions on how to replace blown fuses. After checking the owner's manual, I was able to see that my car has two fuse boxes. One is under the hood, and the other one is on the driver's side right under the steering wheel, as you can see here. The first step is, of course, to pop off this little lid here and gain access to the fuses themselves. To know exactly what fuses you're looking for, you're going to want to take a look at the owner's manual again, where you'll see a diagram numbering the fuses and describing their functions. You can see here that 1 and 3 are the power outlets, 3 being the traditional SIG cigarette lighter, and 1 being P-point, whatever that means. You can also verify and make sure the orientation is correct by using the lid that we just pulled off. I usually use these, these fat ones kind of to make sure the orientation is correct. So here's one and three. They're both 15 amps. And then we have 16, which is here the second one from this little one that's marked off here. That's 20 amps. Those are the cigarette inverters and those are going to need to be replaced. To get them out, I'm going to need to find the pullout tool. It sounds like my parents probably should have used that. So I'm gonna actually need to go into the engine bay and get it from the main fuse box that you saw earlier. So let's do that. Now we're going back in here to look for the pullout tool, which should be in here in this main fuse box. It's actually on the underside of this. It's these little things here. So let's take them. And uh, it's work. Let's start with 16 first. Just yank it, I guess. Okay. So it looks like number 16 actually did not blow. You can see here that this V-shaped metal piece is still intact. So we're going to pull one and three and take a look at those so we can see what an actually blown fuse looks like. I put number 16 back and took out number three. Take a look here at the V-shape. Now it's in two pieces, which signifies that it is a blown fuse, which means it's gonna need to be replaced. I pulled number one as well, and it doesn't look as busted as number three, but it's still clearly busted. So I'm gonna go into AutoZone, ask for their expert opinion, and see if they have the replacement fuse. Blown like Mel Gibson's dick, man. What do you think? You're not connected, so that means no good, yeah? I think so. I think those are bad. That's what I think. Anything about fuses? Uh, not really. No. I can't. I think they're blown. See how the thing's not connected? Yeah. Like it's supposed to, I guess, be like a little U shape, but instead it looks like two sagging penises. You know? Yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. So, I guess, yeah, I'm looking for 15. I don't know. We got some fuses over here. Yeah. They're, they're all numbered, so. Yeah. This one's pretty easy to remember since it's, you know, the perfect age for a woman, am I right? Let's see. The T. Oh. A right here. Yeah, that looks big. What do you think? Yeah, it's a tad bit bigger. Maybe give it a little spin. Yeah. Spin speed. Oh, that's, that's gotta be it. It's like even the same color. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'll be good for fucking ever. I think um, you found your miner. Hey, now. I've never been inside a coal mine. 
Is the 15 the only one you needed? I think there's also a... Well, yeah, I definitely, definitely need these. I forgot what the other one was, maybe 30. But that one didn't look blown. Like, mm -hmm. that one looked like it was, like, upset. Like, it was, it was trying to, you know, convince someone to, to place its mouth um, on its on its penile region so i'm not sure i'm gonna i'm gonna analyze that one i think there is like a, a spare in there mm -hmm. so i might try that and then test it and see what did you I... do to blow the fuses um that guy was asking too many questions so i had to kill him luckily lexus outfitted us with a spare fuse they have the exact one we need the 15 amp blue guy so i'm going to plug it in and make sure it works before we purchase another one all right here's the moment of truth i changed number one which i believe is this one Let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't get electrocuted. Let's find out. Yes! I apologize for my autistic screeching, but owning a Lexus product does not afford me many opportunities to work on my own car, so I was quite excited. After killing the AutoZone attendant, I did swipe these busman fuses and printed myself a uh, fake receipt, so shit is indeed bussin'. Now I'm just gonna replace fuse number three, make sure fuse number 16 slot is working as intended, and if all goes well, we'll be on our way. We're putting the final 15 amper into slot three. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's test. Okay, so slot three is the cigarette lighter down in here in the center console. So let's take a look. All right. And here's the moment of truth. Oh, the car's fucking off. Whoops. Let's see. All right, holy shit. I did not think I was gonna be able to fix it this easy. All right, cool. And now we just have to figure out what the hell's going on in the back. Okay, slot 16 is here in the back. Uh, complete with the warning that I did not heed here. 120 watts max. So let's try this again. It didn't really look like it was blown when I pulled it. That was the, the first one, the green color. Let's take a look. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right, it does work. I don't know, I don't know what that was about then. All right, so the final step is now just to seal everything up, so make sure you turn the car off. Just pop it back on where you found it. back together again just like Humpty Dumpty oh yeah there we are so that's that all right and there you have it that's how you change the fuses when you're a dumbass and you blow them thanks Hope you enjoyed, and hope you uh, don't blow your own fuses. See ya. Subscribe to Music First of all. <laughs> Thanks.